Length, width, and height are all linear measures. They measure distances. They're called linear because they are all one-dimensional, like straight lines. A perimeter and a circumference are also linear measurements, even though they're associated with two-dimensional shapes. They're distances around the edge of shapes. To find a perimeter, add the lengths of all the sides. What I wanted to accomplish was a nice feel for the backyard and um, a good area should I want some seating. I would have liked to have done the entire thing with just a patio, a completely paved area, but I couldn't afford to do that. So I came up with a modification of a design that I saw in a magazine. So I measured how many feet the perimeter was on the two sides that I need to work with. And we came up with using landscape timbers because they're cost effective. Uh, Flo's plane would be any shape, any dimension, um, any lines that uh, all connect, the outside of would be the perimeter. Mm -hmm. Don't take this shape to be actual, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Any perimeter. Oh, oh. Perimeter is the outside. Give me the perimeter of this right here. Add all the sides. If you know the, if you know the measurement of all the sides, if all the sides are equal, it's three times so eight. You need to know the measurement. Right. So there's a, a particular way to figure this out, right? Some yeah. steps, some formulas. Is that what you're saying? Addition. Okay. Yeah, to, to keep so the Absolutely. You can multiply three times eight. So basically our two sides were 37 and 25. 37 and 25 is 62. And if we take that and divide it by our landscape timbers, which we know are eight feet, we come up with seven and three quarter landscape timbers. Area measures the surface of a shape. Surfaces are two-dimensional. There are direct measurements for area like acres, but linear units can be adapted to area measures by squaring them to cover the surface. An area usually requires two measurements taken at right angles to one another, often the length and width. You multiply the two and get a result in square units. This was eight. Remember I said it was eight across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is four, one, two, three, four. Now, we're dealing with length times width. We've got our eight times our four. Now, we know that's 32. What is that? Now, I didn't assign units to this, but let's just pretend this was feet. This is 32 square feet. I needed to know the area that I was working with and the dimensions of the area to work out the pavers. This first area that I was working with was four feet by about 17 feet. So I'll start from here and I'll measure a shorter, fatter rectangle and that's about 25 feet. And we'll walk out here and this is 18 plus, so I'll make it 20. I like to round up. So 25 times 20 equals 500. And the long, skinny rectangle that we're working with was 4 feet by 17 feet. 4 times 17 equals 68. And that gives us a total of 568, or if you want to round up, 570 square feet.